What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So I got five of the best dividend stocks to buy in 2022. And these ones are hot. They have consistent dividend increases. Some of them I own, some of them I don't. And these guys have a rich tradition. They have consistent dividend increases and their revenue backs them up. So that's the one thing about these guys. Revenue is good. Dividend increases are good. Uh, the yield's not bad, and I will do, by the way, a individual dividend uh, stock review on Raytheon Technologies RTX. You guys have been really wanting me to do that. I will do that on New Year's Day while I'm at work, so don't, I, I did not forget you guys, so I'm just letting you know. So make sure you smash that like button, and let's check these stocks out right now. And that first dividend stock is Store Capital. This is a real estate investment trust. I own this one. I'm long in it. Uh, one of my goals is to have at least 100 shares in these guys by the end of 2022. Uh, these guys is a real estate investment trust. Warren Buffett owns these guys. They have a 4.43% dividend yield. The volume is 1.62 million US dollars. Market cap is 9.49 billion US dollars. Its year range is 3002 to 3713. Day range is 34 to 47 to 34.79. This real estate investment trust is very powerful, which I'll reveal to you real quick. Here's the thing. This REIT specializes in single tenant REIT net lease real estate, mostly in the service of retail industries. And here's the thing. They, at the end of the third quarter in 2020, they've owned 2,587 properties throughout the United States and leased to 511 different tenants. So this company looks for specific types of properties to acquire, specifically middle market properties offered by single tenants. To put them in the middle market into the perspective, most of stores tenants are companies within $20 million to $500 million in annual revenue. So we're talking mostly not huge companies, but small independent business businesses. So I know I'm like going real fast. I'm like picking up for a shift. Door prefers single base properties, which account for 63% of the company's rental income. Just to give a few examples, restaurants, daycare centers, auto repair facilities, and pet care businesses are some of the company's top service based property types. So here's the thing. These guys are well diversified. Okay. One more thing. So they have, in addition to their service properties, Store Capital also invests in retailers, about 19% of their rent, and manufacturing properties. Furniture stores, farm supply, and vehicle dealerships are some of the major retail tenant types. And manufacturing properties include metal fabrication, food processing, furniture manufacturing businesses, just to name a few. So here's the thing about these guys. They're well diversified. It's not just one sector. They have a lot of things. So if one little sector during a pandemic took a big hit, big deal. They're still strong. And I'll show you their revenue real quick. And financially, these guys are strong as a company. This is in millions of US dollars. 190, 284, 376, 452, 540, 665, 694. This is in millions of US dollars. Even during a pandemic, their revenue jumped up. That's a very good sign as these guys as a company. And I got to show you their dividend history. I love these guys. I'm actually considering selling Gladstone land for these guys. This is why. And look at these extensive dividend hikes, 25 cents, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35, 36. They hit 38.5 cents. They, ha they are basically, they're still down. They're not jumping up too fast as I showed you in the first section with them versus the S&P. They're sitting at $34.76 uh, right now with a dividend yield of 4.45% and a PE ratio of 37.15, annual dividend 154. How can you say no to that? And I'm telling you, my goal is to get to 100 shares of these guys. Let me show you the next dividend stock. And now we're talking about the juggernaut bank, JP Morgan Chase and Company. So these guys are sitting at $158.70. These guys are a huge company. I mean, they're all over the press all the time. Everybody sees how they do versus the market. Everybody compares them as a bank stock. They are well known. They have a rich tradition as a bank. And, you know, they're... They're just, if they say something or give ratings, people have a strong, um, they, they have a strong influence. And that next stock is JP Morgan Chase and Company. JPM is a sim symbol. It's sitting at, <clears throat> that next stock is JP Morgan, which is sitting at $158.68 with the 2.52% dividend yield. 
PE ratio is 10.04, volume 2.01 million, market cap 468.59 billion US dollars, year range 123.77 to 172.96, day range is 158.59 to 160.24. I wish I owned this one. I wish I had enough money to start throwing in money because people who have put money into this stock get really good um, returns. They have done well against the S&P. They're in line with the S&P. And again, 158.63 with a 2.52% dividend yield. These guys are the, one of the most well-known banks out there. Everybody listens to their uh, input when they give ratings on companies as well. So these guys are well-known, well-established. Their revenue has done fantastic as a company. I'm not going to jump into the revenue because their revenue has done phenomenal. And their dividend history is even more attractive. Check this out. All right, so here's 2013, 38 cents, 2014, 40 cents, 44, 48, 56, 90 cents. They just hit $1. They're sitting at $158.64 with a 2.52% dividend yield. PE ratio is 10.03 and an annual dividend of $4. They're just getting bigger and stronger. And I tell you what, this is probably the best bank stock out there. Look at it, it's jumping up all the time. I'm literally speaking, and these guys are jumping up. And again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in the description. These guys are a juggernaut. I think this is the best bank stock out there, and you're going to get a good bang for your buck for these guys as a company. So this is one, probably long-term, I'm going to, once I start getting more conservative with my dividend portfolio, these guys are definitely going to be in it. Let's jump to the next dividend stock. And that next stock is Altria. MO is a symbol. It's sitting at $47.31, a dividend yield of 7.61%, PE ratio of 31.93, volume 8.45 million US dollars, a market cap of 87.07 billion US dollars. Year range is $40 to $52.59. These guys are a sin stock. You know, they're looking into the Mary Jane business. A lot of people buy their products, like nicotine products. And they try to say on their website, oh, yeah, we prevent, you know, we're trying to help you with smoking and all this. No, I, I'm just going to tell you, it's, they know what they're doing. It's a sin stock. People are going to smoke. They don't care. They're making money out of it. And I'm going to show you the revenue. It's pretty strong, actually. Again, this is in millions of U.S. dollars, 24,000, 25,000. It just hit 26,000. And they're slowly going back up. And they have a reputation with their dividends and increasing their dividends because that's why people invest in this stock. Check out their dividend history. Look at these guys, 2013, 48 cents, 2014, 52, 2015, 56, 2017, 61, 2018, 70, 2019, 80, 2020, 84 cents, 2021, 86 cents. Then they hit 90 cents. So they are sitting at $47.32 right now. It just updated with a dividend yield of 7.6%, PE ratio of 32.03, annual dividend of $3.06. So look at this, high yield dividend stock, very strong high yield dividend stock. And I tell you what, I have never seen a mortgage-backed real estate investment trust run circles around the S&P in the past five years. That is Arbor Realty Trust. ABR is a symbol. I have over 100 shares, and actually I'm thinking about getting to 300 shares long term and then letting it fly they have a dividend yield of 7.78 percent pe ratio of 8.64 volume 1.65 million us dollars market cap 2.65 billion us dollars its year range is 1354 to 2074 day range is 1843 to 1867. i have to show you how the revenue is doing it's incredible and again i have shown you guys numerous videos on these guys for a lot of you guys that are new i have to show you guys how these guys are doing as a company all right, this is in millions of US dollars, 141, 142, 213, 346, 484, 535, 603. Now again, these guys are a mortgage-backed real estate investment trust with increasing revenue, which is amazing. What about their dividend history? That's even more attractive. Look at these dividend hikes over time. So look at this, 15 cents, 16, 18, hit 19, then 21, then 25, then 27. It looks like a special dividend at 15 cents, then it hit 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 36 cents, 7.86 percent dividend yield, a PE ratio of 7.8, annual dividend of 144. This is Arbor Realty Trust sitting at 1851. Let's jump to the final dividend stock. That last dividend stock is Pepsi. It's sitting at 172.67 with a dividend yield of 2.49 percent. PE ratio is 29.45. The volume is 4.64 million U.S. dollars. Market cap is 238. 0.70 year range is 128.32 to 
day range of 172.23 to 173.62. What makes these guys so special? So it's not just the Pepsi beverage. They own Quaker. They have Frito-Lay. They have all these products that people buy over the shelves, which makes these guys extremely attractive. And by the way, I mean, think about New Year's. All these parties that people are having and all these things that they're buying, these are things that are in demand that people buy all the time. It's not just their drink, their Pepsi products. They're, a, they're almost like a huge conglomerate. And the revenue speaks for itself. And don't forget Gatorade. That's a big thing. And there's a few other things that they have. But I'm telling you, the revenue is phenomenal. And their dividend history is even better. Check this out. Look at this. 2015, 70 cents. 2016, 75, 80, 92, 102, 107. These guys have extensive and a, a rich tradition in dividend increases and uh, dividend income. So people who are dividend investors and love this stock, a lot of them prefer this one over Coca-Cola because my gosh, their dividend growth rate is incredible and they are kind of a bigger company than Coca-Cola. So, you know, I do like Coca-Cola, but I wish I had more to buy Pepsi because I, I can tell you these guys, their dividend growth rate is phenomenal. One of my goals is to have my monthly dividend stocks buy stocks like these on my M1 finance dividend portfolio. So I can keep on buying more and more and more and more and then go from there or actually individually buy stocks like this and just keep on compounding and go for, going from there. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. What are your five best dividend stocks to buy in 2022? You let me know. And again, I will post a video tomorrow for you guys before the college football bowl games. Then I'll have that special uh, video on uh, Monday, or I'm sorry, s Saturday. Gosh, I'm losing track of days, and um, which is New Year's Day, and I'll be working New Year's Day. So I just want to let you guys know I will have that video saved, so it'll pop up for you guys uh, by 3 p.m. So you guys take care and have a good one.